Hi everyone. So this is your second IT class. Hope all of you watched our first class and clear your doubts. Okay. Now we are moving to our second class. So last class we have started our first chapter that is know your computer. So we have already discussed about the working model of computer. We have discussed there are three steps: input, processing, and output. So once again, three steps are the input, processing, and output. And also we have discussed the working model, how it works. Then also we have discussed some of some of the examples about that working model. After that, we have discussed about the input devices. Also, we saw the pictures in the textbook. There are so many input devices in your textbook, and we have discussed the first three input devices. They are keyboard, mouse, and joystick. These three we have already discussed in the first class. Today, we are moving to the next. Input device. Now, uh, three or four input devices are remaining. So, let us start with the fourth one, that is light pen. So, the next input device is light pen. So, once again, input devices means the devices which are used for entering the instruction and data into the computer. So, input means we are Entering data and instructions. So one device is used for entering this data and instruction. That device is known as input devices. So we have already discussed the main input device that is keyboard. The second one, mouse. And the third input device, trackball. Now we are going to the next input device that is light pen. Just like the name itself, we can hold it like a pen. And using that pen, we can select the th objects on the screen. So, in page number four, the picture is clearly given. Light pen means just like the name itself, it's like a pen. We want to hold it like a pen, and using that pen, we can select the objects on the screen. So, it is a pointing device. So, light pen is a pointing device means we are selecting objects on the screen using this pen. So light pen is the another input devices which we are using. Now the next one is trackball. So the next input device is trackball. Just like the uh, name, it's a, just just like a ball. That means like a mouse. In that mouse, using our finger, we can rotate that ball. So when we are rotating the ball. It will point to the screen. If we want to select this input device, what we want to do is we can rotate the ball on the trackball. Then the pointer will move to the input device and it will be selected. So trackball is another input devices. Its picture is also clearly given. In this picture, you can see here a ball, a red color ball. So this is just like a mouse. So here it is the ball. So this ball, using our finger, we can rotate. We can rotate this ball. That means the it, the pointer will be on the screen and the objects will be selected. Here you can see the picture of light pen. Here also it's we are holding like a pen and selecting the objects on the screen. After that track ball, we are rotating this ball as per which we want to select. That means the object will be selected. Now the third one is touch screen. The next one is touch screen. Next input device is touch screen. Touch screen means all are familiar with that. We are using mobile phone touch screen, mobile phones touch screens. Screens are there just like laptops. Some we are using as touch screen. That means another input device. Touch screen is another input device. What we can use using our fingers, we can touch the objects or the data on the screen. For example, touch screen, mobile phone, mobile phone, ATM. These are all the services we are giving for, just like touch screen. 
So once again, touch screen means we can choose or we can select icons using our fingers. By touching each of the items, we can select objects or icons on the screen. That, is, that means it is a touch screen device. So once again, we are discussing about the input devices. Beginning we have discussed what is a light pen after that trackball. Now it's touch screen. So touch screen is another input device. Now we are moving to the next input device that is scanner. So the next input device is scanner. Scanner means it scan a text or an image. Scanner scans a text or an image. Hope all of you seen a photo chat mission. What it, it is just like scanner but the difference is that scanner means we can see it on the computer screen but the picture or the uh, text we can see on the computer screen but in the case of photo chat mission it will be in a paper. So that is the difference between scanner and photo chat mission but scanner means it scans a text or an image. Another specialty is scanner is an input device. So once again scanner is an input device it scans a text or an image. Its picture is also given in page number 4. Here you can see the picture of scanner. The scanner is another input device it is used to scan an image or an text. So this is scan. Now the next one is microphone. Here also you can see the picture of microphone. So microphone is another input device. Microphone is another input device. It is used to record our voice. So microphone is the next input device. What is the use of microphone? It is used to record your voice or your sound. So that is the use of microphone. Very simple. Microphone is an input device. It is used to record your voice. So this is the next input device. Now the next one is digital camera. Next input device is digital camera. Its picture is in page number 5, digital camera. Digital camera means it is used to capture and store photographs and videos in a digital form, just like a memory card. So once again, the picture is here. Digital camera means it is used to capture images and videos. We can take photos or videos and we can store it in the camera as a memory card. I hope everyone has seen a memory card. It's a small one. So just like that, using just like that way, our photos and videos can be stored inside the camera. So inside means you know when we are entering inside or when we are storing something inside, it is an input device. So digital camera is an input device. So once again, digital camera is an input device and it is used to store images and videos in, in the form of a memory card. So these are the input devices. Now we are moving to the next input device. The next one is web camera. So the next input device is web camera. You can see here the picture of web camera. This is the picture of web camera. It is used to capture live images and videos. We can capture live images and videos. It is just like digital camera but the difference is that it is fixed on the computer. When we are looking the picture of digital camera and web camera, what is the difference? Here web camera is fixed on the computer. That is the difference. So the next one is web camera. It is also an input device. It is also used to take uh, photos lively. 
we can see the photos lively just like digital camera but the difference is that web camera is fixed on the computer so this is the difference between digital camera and web camera web camera is an input device and is used to take live pictures and videos but it is fixed on the computer so now the next input device the next one is graphics tablet you can see here the picture of graphic ta uh, graphics tablet it is used to draw images and graphics manually just like one can draw using paper and pencil so graphics tablet is used to draw images and graphics manually how we are drawing pictures on a paper just like that way we can draw pictures and graphics on a tablet there is no need of mouse and all we can itself draw just like how we are doing on a paper so graphics tablet is another input device it is used to draw images and graphics so the next input devices and the last input device is barcode reader the picture is here the picture of barcode reader it is also an input device is used to read the barcode of a product barcode means it's a machine readable code that code can be read using this barcode reader so this barcode reader we can see when we are going to shop and all we can see when we are buying things just like is a uh, bar cord will be the that cord is readable using this barcode reader so barcode reader is the last input device it is used to read the machine readable codes so many machine readable codes are there it is read by barcode reader so children now we have discussed the input devices the first one first one we have already discussed it is keyboard keyboard is an input device the main input device is keyboard keyboard is used to type text so by that we can enter instructions and data into the computer after that we have discussed the second input device that is mouse mouse is used to draw images and select objects and also we have seen two types of mouse mechanical mouse and optical mouse and the third input device that is trackball it is used for playing games now we have discussed these input devices the first one is light pen light pen means just like a pen we can hold like a pen and we can draw and select icons trackball trackball is like a mouse in there we can see a ball we can using our finger we can rotate the ball by rotating we can select objects in the screen that is trackball it is also an input device third one is touch screen touch screen is used to choose or select icons on the screen it is also an input device next one is scanner another input device it scanner scans text or an image we can scan text or images next input device is microphone microphone is used to record your voice next one is digital camera it is also an input device it is used to take pictures and videos and we can store it just like in memory card next one is web camera it is also used to take pictures and videos lively but the difference is that digital camera uh, web camera can be fixed on the computer by fixing that we are taking pictures and videos it is also an input device so the next one is graphics tablet 
how we are drawing pictures using a pencil just like that way we can draw pictures and graphics on the tablet it is also an input device the last one is barcode reader it is used to read the machine readable codes it is also an input device so once again the first input device is keyboard mouse trackball light pen joystick touch screen scanner microphone digital camera web camera graphics tablet and the last one is barcode reader so these are the input devices so read your textbook three times it's very compulsory by looking the pictures and reading the definition it will be very clear for you so now we are moving to the next topic that is output devices i hope everyone knows what is output device output device means the device that is used to give us the result when we are entering the data into the computer using input devices we are getting a result that result is known as output and the device that shows the result is known as output device so normally we are seeing monitor as the output device we all know that when we are typing something where we will get the answer on the monitor so which is which will be the first output device yes it is monitor the first output device is monitor so monitor is the main output device we are using so all the results we can see on the monitor screen so monitor is having another name also that is visual display unit the other name of monitor is visual display unit so on this monitor we can see the text or images very clearly so that means it is the main or the first output device so other name of monitor is visual display unit now monitor is of three types the first one is crt second one is lcd and the third one is led crt means cathode ray tube liquid crystal display and led means light emitted diode so these are the three types of monitor in page number 6 in page number 6 the picture of crt lcd and led is the i hope everyone has seen all these three monitors first one is crt for for form as cathode ray tube monitors lcd liquid crystal display monitors led means light emitted diode so these are the three types of monitors so based on the technology we are classifying as CRT LCD and LED so once again monitor other name is visual display unit so monitor is the first output device other name is visual display unit there are three types of monitor they are CRT LCD and LED cathode ray tube monitor liquid crystal display on uh, display monitor and light emitted diode monitor so these are the three types of monitors now the next output device is printer printer is the next output device normally when we are taking print outs that means what we are getting the result whatever we are typing on the monitor monitor is a output device so whatever result we are typing we are taking print so that means that print out means that is a result so printer is also an output device so printer we are taking print that means we are taking the result in the form of a paper when we are getting the result on the computer screen it will be monitor and that is output device if we are getting the result in a form of paper it is printer that means another output device here it is also 
classified into three. Three types of printers are the first one is laser printer, inject printer and also dot matrix printer. Based on the technology, based on the size and the type of pictures, we are classifying as three laser printer, inject printer and third one is dot matrix printer. So printer is also an output device. It is used to print the text and images on a paper. Sometimes the picture will be black and white. Otherwise it will be colorful. So both type are the sometimes when we are taking prints it will be in black and white and otherwise it will be as very colorful. So printer once again printer is another output device. It is used to print text and images on a paper. It is also of three types laser printer, inject printer and also dot matrix printer. So these are the two types of output device. Now the third output device is plotter. Its picture is in page number 7. Plotter is used to generate graphical outputs made by a series of straight lines such as charts, graphics, graphs and map. Plotters are similar to just like printer, plotter are also there but they draw lines using a pen. So just listen, when we are looking the picture itself we are, know that printer means we are getting small uh, just like in the form of a paper but plotter means I know this is not familiar for you plotter means uh, you have seen graph then also some of the what is it charts map map will be very large so these things are taken using plotter so just like printer and plotter are same but the difference is that Printer will be in the form of a paper, but plotter will be in a large format. So this is the difference between printer and plotter, but both are output devices. Now I'm going to discuss you one more output device that is speaker. The term is familiar for you. Speaker means it is for entertainment. That means we can hear songs, music, everything using this speaker. That means sound is played on a computer. That can be heard by using the speaker. So speaker is the other output device. So hope you got an idea about output devices. Once again, output devices means the device that is used to display the result. When we are getting a result, it will be in a device that is known as output devices. And also we have discussed four output devices. The first and the most famous one is monitor. Another name of monitor is visual display unit. And there are three types of monitors, cathode ray tube, liquid crystal display and light emitter diode. These are the three types of monitors. The second output device is printer. Printer is used to take prints of text and images. It, will, it can be colorful or black and white. Then it is also of three types laser printer, inject printer and dot matrix printer. The third one is plotter. Plotter is also an output device. It is used to take the prints just like graph, charts and map. It is bigger than or larger than printer. The last output device we are going to discuss here is speaker. It is used to emit the sound just like music or anything we can hear using this speaker. So these are the output devices. So once again, today we have discussed the remaining input devices. So total we have discussed so many input devices, the keyboard. So before that we can discuss what is an input device. The device that is used or that will help us to enter data and instruction into the computer. When we are entering into the computer, it is used by some input devices. They are keyboard, 
mouse, joystick, light pen, trackball, scanner, microphone, web camera, digital camera and also barcode reader. After that we have discussed about output devices. The device that helps us to show the result that is known as output device. The first output device is monitor. Other name is visual display unit and also we have seen three types of monitors. The second one is printer, plotter and speaker. So these are the output devices. Hope everyone is clear. So just read your textbook book with the appropriate pictures. Just look to the pictures and also read the textbook. Hope everyone is clear. So the remaining part will be in the next class. Thank you.